The detectors in CE are very similar in design and function to those commonly used in HPLC. In this video, we are going to focus on the absorbance and the indirect absorbance methods, which we will be using in our CE experiment. In CE, the detector is usually placed near the end of the capillary, but not at the end of the capillary. This type of detection methods are called the on-column detection. In this experiment, we will be using the diode array detector. DAD detector is very similar to the conventional UVVIS detector we have seen in HPLC in CM2192, but more advanced and more expensive. So, what's the difference between a DAD detector and a conventional UVVIS detector? In short, UVVIS detector is like UVVIS spectrometer. It can detect one wavelength at a time, while DAD detector can detect multiple wavelengths at one time. If you are interested in learning more about the DAD detector, do check out the link below. In terms of setup, the DAD detector in C is very similar to the UVVIS spectrometer. First, we have a light source. Our sample is flowing through the capillary. And then we have the detector on the other end. To allow the light to pass through the capillary, a small section of the protective polyimide coating is usually removed by etching. Similar to UVB spectroscopy, in this case, the beers lamberts law applies as well. So you might have noticed that the typical path length we use in UVB spectroscopy is about 1 cm. In CE, the path length is equal to the inner diameter of the capillary, which is about 100 micrometer. So the absorbance measure will be about 100 times weaker in this case. So, the first problem we face here is a short path length. To improve the sensitivity of the detection, one common approach is to bend the end of the capillary into a Z shape to produce a path length as long as 10 times the capillary diameter. Another approach is to use a bubble cell which can improve the sensitivity by 3 to 5 times as compared to standard capillary. If the bubble cell is well designed, the electroosmotic flow is able to maintain the flat flow profile in the bubble so that the resolution would not be compromised. So now that we have solved the problem of having a short path length, what may be the second problem of this experimental design? The three inorganic anions of interest in this experiment are chloride, nitrate, and bromate. If we are using DAD detector, the first criteria is that our analytes have to be able to absorb light in the UVVIS region. But do these three anions absorb light in the UVVIS region? So the second problem we have here is the analyte of interest are not chromophores. In other words, the anions that we are interested in do not absorb light in the UVVIS region. To solve this problem, we can add an ionic chromophore in the electrophoresis buffer. The detector will receive a constant signal due to the presence of ionic chromophore in the buffer. When our anion of interest passes through the detector, the concentration of the ionic chromophore decreases so we will see a drop in the absorbance. This is what we call the indirect absorbance detection. One commonly used ionic chromophore is chromate ions, which absorb strongly at 254 nanometer. Congratulations! You have reached the end of the lecture series on capillary electrophoresis. To recap, we have learned about the electrophoretic mobility and the electro-osmotic flow. And we have tried combining these two key mechanisms together to obtain the overall migration rate of individual analytes in previous video. Hey, Wait a minute. Isn't the title of this experiment Capillary Electrophoresis of Inorganic Anions? How come cations are the ones that are eluted out of the capillary first? 
and the anions are eluted last. To minimize the time required for the analysis, it makes more sense to reverse the migration order so that the anions are eluted first. So one last question of this lecture series would be, is it possible to modify the experimental design so that the anions will be able to migrate faster than the cations and the neutral species? If it's possible, how do we achieve this? So that's all for today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.